Hi y'all. I'm gonna show something here. I gotta show a skirt onto this embroidery cloth here. I hemmed it. I gotta show a skirt onto it. Both ends of it here with lace and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. Now I stay stitched. I had to cut that curve, the two skirts. I stay stitched them. So now I got to cut the clip the curves very carefully. Clip the curves. We'll go ahead and do the other one. Come on. Okay. Cut that one right there. Now, see, I cut the curve there on it. Now, what I've got to do is go over there to the ironing board and iron the edge, iron that down. I think I might just go ahead and hem the edge of this while I'm at it. No, maybe I ought to iron it. I'm not a professional at this, I, I'm an amateur. I see what I'm needing to do is I gotta go press the edges down on this here. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go over there to the ironing board and press the edges down. So you can see me over there ironing. I know it's exciting.
Now I gotta lay this down on here and see how it's gonna fit. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I gotta make this fit where her skirt goes. Boy, howdy. Hmm. I'm gonna have to. Boy, I'm going to have to turn that under a whole bunch and cut some off. Let me turn it under right here. Let me go iron this right here. And get this where it'll fit. I don't have a pattern for this skirt. I'm just doing it freehand here. Seems to be the story of my life. I have to freehand everything. Let's see if I can. Now I'm going to have to iron that, fold that over right there. Has to be just right.
I hope I got it there. It's a lot of trouble, a lot more than I thought it'd be. Okay. Get the chair pulled up. Uh, now. Well, what I gotta do now is pin this down. I put it right at the edges of her skirt. Right here where the embroidery ends. Put that right on there. Have to get it just right. an idea in my mind how I want to do this. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we'll see. i get that pen in there. My pens are getting dull. in there. Put another pin right beside there. I have never done this before. Now usually when you embroider a cloth like this you uh, you crochet, you hand crochet the edging for it. This is an old timey design. It's an old timey pattern. Ouch! And uh, usually you hand crochet the edging on it, and then you hand crochet the skirt, and you sew it on there. <clears throat> but as you can see. I sewed a bias tape around the edge on this. I do that sometimes because I don't have the lace I would like to sew on it on a certain project, so I'll just grab some bias tape and put that on there. Pin it, pin it, pin it. Have to pin it, pin it, pin it. Do this one like that. I think what I'll do is start in this corner here and go around like that and that and then I'll gather the lace and put that on the bottom. I showed this lace gatherings on the machine. First time I ever tried that. Find the thread that goes to the back. Huh. Be this one, I think. 
I see you just you just start pulling your thread here and start gathering your lace. Well, it's twisting on me. I couldn't find any. I, I know I've got some pre-gathered lace, but it's buried so deep in my storage shed. I have to take everything out of that storage shed just to find that one little thing of lace. So instead of doing that, I just decided I'd gather up this stuff here. I need a house big enough that I could have a sewing room. Of course, that ain't never going to happen. I, I ain't never going to be rich. Now, <clears throat> now I'm going to trim some of this long thread where I can handle it easier. Well, cut it. And uh, tie this off right here so it won't pull anymore. or go right through that lace. Okay, hopefully that's got it. Now, here we go. out of the way. Now you see how I got this pinned on? Now, I'm about to show it on here. If the Lord's willing and the creeks don't rise. here in this corner. Let me pull my chair up. See what I've got that on right there. Well, what if I put it right there? What, what setting should I put it on? I don't know. I do not know. Well, I gotta turn it on. <laughs> Wasn't going because I didn't have it turned on. <laughs> back stitch right there okay and then move the needles out of the way I'd go ahead and move that pin right there move that one Turn that cloth a little bit. 
Okay, take that pin out. Scoot that out of the way. Get pin out. Okay. Okay, let me get my piece of. Well, where did it go? What did I do with it? Where is it? Well, it just up and disappeared on me. There it is. I'm going to have to turn that fan off. It's blowing stuff. <laughs> it's just, I can't stand it. It's just blowing too much stuff. Blowing everything all the heck. Uh, now. Now, here's the part where I'm going to fix and start putting this lace on here. Now I need to try to evenly space out the gathers. It keeps curling up on me. It makes it hard. Try to space it out a little. Let's bring this right there down a little bit okay now and here we go put it under there under the edge of that there Now turn it. Get that under there just right. Whenever I stop, I like to put the needle down to hold this stuff in place while I'm fiddling with it. Not as easy as it looks, not as easy as you just when I pictured it in my mind, you know. When you actually do it, it's not as easy. I'm gonna have to fold that way over. Boy, howdy. 
The leash is too long there. Get try to get this under control here. It's not cooperating with me. Now, come on. Okay. I'm going to back stitch across that lace right there. That's it. Well, she's got her skirt on. There's this one. There's that one. Got her skirt on. There it is. And now I gotta do the one on the other opposite side here. So anyway, that's what I'm a doing. Just wanted to show you. And I said, I know it wasn't real exciting, but ain't much exciting goes on in the life of a housewife. But anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.